to Dr. Nayana, we bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute uh, for uh, achieving uh, topmost rank in uh, FET reproductive medicine and uh, rank number 9. Congratulations and best wishes to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great. Now, uh, from Nayana, can we know, uh, Dr. Nayana, can we know uh, your uh, medical uh, career so far from where you started and where you did your uh, MBBS and where you did your post graduation? And then why you want to do a fellowship in reproductive medicine? Sir, my UG I did in Government Medical College, Mandya. And my for post graduation, I finished from Jesus Medical College, Mysore, sir. So from the PG itself, I was into uh, reproductive medicine, sir. Because the teachers were very good there. In uh, Especially infertility, they used to uh, help us a lot and uh, make us read standard books for each presentation. From there, I started, sir. But uh, soon after the PG, uh, everyone was like, uh, reproductive medicine is saturated. Why are you going into reproductive medicine? So I applied for fetal medicine, sir. So fetal medicine, my heart was not into it. And uh, I, after one month, I quit and I came off, sir. Then uh, after that, I concentrated on my family. And then uh, 2000, uh, in the beginning of pandemic, sir, I felt uh, disinterested and uh, like I, I wanted to do something else. So I started my preparation and uh, 2009, uh, 2020, 20, I gave my first needs. Sir. So I, the FET also that year only I gave. Sir. So, but uh, the thing is, I didn't know about the speed at that time. One month post result, I got to know about the speed and uh, immediately I joined the school. I thought I should give one more honest attempt. Uh, I will prepare to the maximum extent and the need and FET. So 2020 to 2021 and the exams kept postponing, uh, postponing, but still uh, all the efforts I could do, I just gave, sir. Very nice. Very nice, doctor. Now, uh, what uh, we want to know is, so your, your uh, preparation gave an attempt in 2020 and then you want to continue your preparation and uh, from 2020 to next exam and almost one and a half Yes, you have traveled with your preparation. And can you tell your experience what all you did during the one and a half years? 2020 gave me a perspective, sir, like how to prepare, like what kind of questions are coming in. So I decided that I have to read standard textbooks along with the speed notes uh, for the specialty, sir. And NEET SS and FET was hardly there was any difference in question. Only thing is the FET, uh, there were more high risk questions. Uh, were there and also recent developments they had concentrated so so i what i did is first i for, for me oncology was not my interest sir, but i had to tackle my weakness first so uh, oncology i read barak and hacker and started making notes and i found that speed old video sir from usha vivek sir and delphin supriya ma'am i i it is exact notes of barak hacker sir so uh, what i made is like uh, i make uh, my notes in ipad sir so everything in one set, I like completed oncology. And then I came to infertility. Infertility, I did read Kamini Rao. And uh, I made notes of it with the speed notes. Everything was included in one iPad, sir. So every 10 days, like uh, 10 days, I had to repeat the all the process. 10 days, I used to give onco. 10 days, reproductive. And 10 days, OG. So every month, I did revisions, sir. So there were a lot of revisions. And OG... I thought like uh, all the recent guidelines they are asking in my FET. So I did all the recent X-ray, last three years ACOG, and all the relevant uh, guidelines in my RCOG. Uh, ACOG, RCOG, I covered, sir. And all those conclusion part, I added to my same notes, sir. So it was, uh, if I, previously I used to do a pen and paper method, but this time what I did is just cut and paste every important Electronic, thing. electronic notes now. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. It, uh, it saved a lot of time. And uh, the thing is, we can revise it more. The, the thing you keep to this success is, I think, the revision only, sir. So, the paper of 100 in FET, I mean, what percentage of questions were from uh, reproductive medicine? What percentage are from general OBG? What percentage are from fetal medicine? And can you, and, and oncology? Uh, gynec oncology. Can you tell us the percentage of questions which you are asked? So that it will be an insight to the people preparing next time. Sir, uh, what happens in infertility is, infertility is uh, both endocrinology and infertility. Sir. 
for uh, the endocrine most of the general part also was endocrine reproductive endocrinology reproductive infertility og questions uh, were little tough sir actually to be honest uh, you, you need to go in depth for a william, for williams and also for then uh, for gen- cancers you can easily answer if you have read for neat tests you don't have to repeat what i did for high risk is i i solved as uh, for general og and gynae sir the uh, the googly questions comes from these only what i did i used to solve uh, as many as co- questions as possible sir mcqs and also there is a williams uh, question back sir i used to it covers all the high risk pregnancy part i used to cover as much as possible yes i want to know the percentage of questions infertility in 100 100 questions how many questions are from reproductive medicine reproductive sir i think 60 uh, 70 from reproductive medicine sir general obg general obg i, I think uh, 20 sir and hardly like five or six questions from the onco part so 20 plus uh, 60 yeah 20 plus 70 70 plus 20 hey, 90 5. 90 uh, and 10 approximately from onco ah uh, so that uh, onco was simple sir only the basic staging and all they used to do okay now you gave this neat also right you gave this neat exam also yeah, yeah, so okay. what is the distribution of questions there there so there also this time the infertility questions were there more uh, for me what i felt is the oncology they are asking basic previously i had seen uh, interviews of the toppers especially aishwarya ma'am they like they told the uh, oncology she especially mentioned one sentence uh, this time for our luck oncology was the major part we don't know next year she told that was always in my mind so this infertility can come half and half this time i thought but uh, definitely the reproductive medicine part was more in uh, neat ss so. correct i heard somewhere yeah. around 57 questions or something like yes yeah, sir uh, every even the general part is from reproductive medicine i think uh, we have to concentrate that also yeah that's what i heard i spoke to uh, some of uh, the toppers as well and uh, everybody was saying sir the entire paper was reproductive medicine yes sir uh, even the general part i'm seeing just reproductive questions sir it was an added benefit for us who have uh, who have passion for infertility but for a uh, onco aspirant it is really <laughs> no even for non onco aspirant they have to read reproductive medicine that's what they get advice yes, definitely they have to make an extra effort because we as an infertility we read direct and after we they should also make an effort sir so. yeah so because uh, when we when we made this course two years back we we, we were I mean we evolved this course and uh, we strongly pitched in for the gynec oncology and general obg and we thought reproductive medicine they will ask or 10 15 questions probably they will ask that's what my yeah, idea yeah. was uh, because it's called uh, the gynec oncology something like that so that will be something to be included then yeah. someone told me so let us do a complete course I mean for reproductive medicine and this 15 question also should be the game changer people will not uh, read that properly so we will make a complete course then i spoke to the entire team of dr professor pandian and uh, uh, entire uh, team of reproductive medicine sir and puvitra ma'am like a simple topic they used to explain it so very well sir it is like whatever the the words no sir like when do solving question also his his voice used to come to me so they took a very disciplined course session 1 and session 2 then we said okay fine we will go uh, theory concepts we have done we will uh, go through an mcq wise of point by point revision so we had session 1 and session 2 was made for that reason because in the last uh, year in the interview when i spoke to dr aishwarya she said sir there are around Uh, percentage of questions were around 25 to 30 questions last time and she said sir i was strong in general obg and gynec but i took the speed course because i was weak uh, in um, reproductive medicine and infertility and it was uh, uh, exactly asked so similarly as you say this year also the percentage is increased from last year as you said correctly the percentage is increased for both the exams both for the fet and also for uh, neat and also they are asking the recent guidelines i felt sir we all the recent guidelines conclusions we have to go through sir. now why do you see the paradigm shift why people are concentrating more on uh, reproductive medicine in spite of i mean the spectrum being huge uh, in uh, in obg 
speaking gyna konko only they choose uh, mchc seats uh, <laughs> like from the because for reproductive awareness my aim was for fet only sir because 3 years and bond i was uh, i have a kid also so for me it is a uh, difficult so you are very clear i will do only this i will prepare for this okay okay but the preparation remains the same sir for the both exams so so general obg gynec oncology reproductive medicine now it looks the balance is tilting more for reproductive basically our luck also sir how the general obg what we can do is to concentrate on recent advances rather than to stick with the big books uh, then uh, specialty both also we have to concentrate and i think general obg i think uh, it will be very comfortable i mean i mean, I mean it is are uh, there any general obg questions in fact uh, also sir <laughs> Forty percentage. I think everything was reproductive medicine this time. Okay, great, doctor. I mean, because this insight is what is important for the future aspirants. They they should know what is the paper asked first. Only then you can prepare accordingly. Yes, sir. Definitely, I have also gone through many interviews, sir. For me, that is only a kind of motivation, and also I, it gives a insight what is uh, how the topper mind works and how they their strategies. Ah, exactly. What do you, what do you say is. Uh, exactly that is important because what we are we are observing as uh, teachers and the faculty is every exam is changing i mean i mean it's changing on uh, exam wise so there is no stability on the exam they are asking uh, um, so that means we need to concentrate on the entire all aspect I mean we cannot leave anything and uh, that's how it is So given uh, any CT assess from the productive medicine sir it was that standard there in fet also like it looks simple but the answer is very specific if you know the topic exactly i mean i mean what i am want to ask you is the number of people who appear for need the same number appear for need, uh, fellowship also no sir um, some of the like uh, yeah, like immediate post graduates no sir they concentrate more on reproductive medicine i am seeing in my center every other every seat is uh, <laughs> um, this one reproductive medicine sir so there i think general uh, whoever wants to do an onco sir they will they will be added on but uh, the immediate post pg i think many young uh, young graduates will come there sir no because the ops gyne is a I mean I mean when we were graduates and we were doing and immediately next generation to us they thought it is an end speciality I mean uh, now uh, i think now it is not an end speciality i feel because now there are a lot of sub specialization is happening either a fellowship or an mch I mean uh, the mindset as i think it has come what do, what is your opinion on that sir like uh, even i inquired a lot, i was interested in reproductive i inquired everywhere fellowship it is all interview spaces sir like i felt that 10 years down the line they might ask a pro, uh, proper degree uh, Uh, many things have changed from 10 years there are infertility courses one month two months every month they have so so i thought i should have a proper degree uh, from this one and i should uh, uh, 10 years down the line i should not think back that i should have done a degree instead of a core, small course uh, that's why i did the, the concept of finishing an obg starting a clinic and start looking into the delivery and to all that the uh, go na long one sir especially i stay in bangalore sir so metropolitan cities like you are nowhere ju- just with an ms sir hmm. so i mean that's a, that I mean that is a, that's a trend actually and and even before our ages the people uh, i mean an ogician and will get married to a general surgeon and they start a polyclinic and they have a roaring practice i mean that's how this obg was uh, i mean perspective was looked at now today it is totally changed and it looks like huh even like in my family all are super specialist supposed to super have done super specialty so i also uh, it also motivated me so now it has become a trend that is a minimum you would finish all your super specialization then start your practice yes sir yes sir definitely you are in a, uh, upper hand that time sir so the golden time still does not exist study finish your whatever you want to practice today be a specialist and do it even after marriage and the kid you can do everything if you put your mind into it great <laughs> so i think uh, very very nice and what is your message that you want to give to the aspirants of uh, because I mean people want to do gynec oncology reproductive medicine I mean uh, whatever it is what they should Uh, do I mean what they should mentally first prepare 
and then how they should prepare and uh, actually for the subject. Everything can give a little brief on that and it will be very good. Sir, what I feel for speciality, you have to make a one reading of your uh, standard textbook and make notes along with the speed. Preferentially use uh, the digital method of making notes. And for the general OB design, uh, do as many as MCQs, a daily 100 to 150 MCQs if you do, it is more than enough, sir. You don't have to read uh, specially for that. And then uh, revision is the key, sir. The number of times you revise, that is only is going to determine. Because all the recent advances you have read, should be, you should remember after six months or so, sir, because these exams keep postponing. But uh, if you, the revision is the key and consistency also is there, sir. Okay, now uh, the reproductive medicine, uh, where they asked from, which book you think that the questions are based on that? Sir, I think uh, uh, Kamani also they asked, sir, and also the recent SRA guidelines, all these guidelines they have covered, and also many uh, questions came from Speed also, uh, like that, sir. Okay. In, in in your opinion, there should be an extensive preparation and whatever the exam you go, reproductive medicine has to be thorough. And we have to concentrate both on NEET and uh, FET. Uh, so, for, uh, because it's, the seats are very less, we have to give best of them for both the, the exams. Great. Thank you. And I uh, also want to, uh, opportunity if you want to thank and whoever built your career so far, kindly you can thank them in this. I would have to especially thank, thank my in-laws for bringing up the child that too in pandemic their online classes and all. Uh, it's very tough with the kids. And also my husband sir who's always been supportive and my brother-in-law who is very supposed uh, he motivated me time and again. And also my teacher sir and especially the speed team sir. I had no idea what to read, where to read anything sir. It was like... Uh, like a light layer, like light bearer for me, for my life, sir. I will always cherish that. And also the Delphine Supriya uh, ma'am and Usha ma'am and Padian sir, Puvitra ma'am, all the, and also Revati ma'am, sir, the, the last, uh, last months, uh, Revati ma'am, recent uh, guidelines she covered from RCOG, that also helped me. Thanks for everyone. Very nice, very nice, doctor. And one second, I bring in uh, all wishes and greetings to you for achieving such a wonderful rank and a FET seat in reproductive medicine and also to have a great career in reproductive medicine and such Thank a such a wonderful uh, field it is and uh, and uh, such a beautiful field it is and and your career there should be um, will be great and you will serve uh, people in need and you also contribute a lot to the speciality for all that we wish you all the best and all the success throughout your career and keep going and keep inspiring us thank you sir thank you allah thanks allah